Hey guys and welcome back <clears throat> to another Monday Motivation. Now, today's uh, Monday Motivation is uh, literally gonna be talking about biting off more than you can chew, all right? And why am I picking this subject? Well, to be all honest with you, I didn't even, I didn't even uh, um, think about doing a Monday Motivation today um, until I was about to leave uh, Walmart. Now, why am I choosing, you know, more, he was it biting off more than what you can chew? Why am I choosing that? Well, because again, the usual, you know, if you guys already know me and follow my Monday motivations, you know, I, I just bit off more than what I could chew, as always, but as I always tell you guys, I don't know if I've ever made a Monday motivation talking about this before, or, you know, just on this particular subject, or not, maybe I have, regardless. It's always, you know, um, it's always good to have a refresher, all right? But regardless, I'm biting off more than you can chew. The good, the bad, and the ugly, you know, um, when it comes to that. So, you know, right now, I obviously bit off more than I can chew. I'm always biting off more than I can chew. And I encourage you guys all the time to bite off more than you can chew. And why is that? Well, the thing is that you know, uh, let me let me start off uh, with the synopsis, I guess. You know, the short version, right? And then we'll expand on that as we walk and talk. But, man, this thing is super tight behind me. That's what she said. So, uh, <laughs> um, you know, when you bite off more than you can chew, what tends to happen is that you usually always end up accomplishing what you want to accomplish on your, you know, biting off more than you can chew list. So, I mean, for example, you know, this morning I had a, I had a list that I thought I wasn't going to, that I thought I was not going to finish with until perhaps, you know, somewhere in the what afternoon. Oh, oh, awesome. YouTube. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, man, nice to meet nice you guys. Meet you, nice to meet you. Awesome. We're that of you. Oh, awesome. Awesome. All right. Cool. Later, guys. Enjoy. Look at that. Always, always pay. Every time I have a Monday motivation, it seems lately, um, I keep bumping into more fans and stuff like that so that's awesome you know um but you know just going back to what i was talking about while i'm with um fighting off more than what you can chew um the benefits to all that is the fact that you know once you finish you know everything that you thought was too much you, you know the sense of accomplishment is so beyond awesome it becomes addicting it becomes intoxicating it, it's like um that's why i mean you always see me pushing pushing even harder and um you know the people that I look up to or I encourage you guys to also check out are people that also do that that are always pushing the limits because if you're not pushing the limits and are you even really living I mean what are you really doing right I mean that's the way I look at things so I mean look right now my back is kind of like bothering me a little bit and my knee is bothering me a little bit because I just got back from Cuba where you know I was just walking for I don't know three days straight for like 10 day 10 hours a day give or take so um, I'm a little exhausted, but I still got to push through. You know, I could have called an Uber and um, all this other stuff. But again, um, I wouldn't have met those people that you just saw a few minutes ago and um, and others, you know, that I actually, you know, a bunch of things that happened to me today. But, you know, back to what I was saying, you know, when I started my day today, I had such a huge list of things to do that I, I, it, it got a little overwhelming because it's like... I needed to, to make sure that I got everything done today because I'm not gonna have any other time. Hold on. I'm not gonna have any other time, you know, going forward, really. You know, like, I, I, my time is very, very finite right now. And I'm, I was just trying to get as many things done um, errand-wise before I had to, like, go back to work. And anyone out there that's taken a trip, gone on vacation, um, you know, anything like that, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So. You know, again, it's like 1.15 in the afternoon. By the time I'm done with everything, it'll be close to 2 o'clock. And um, it's kind of awesome. It really is kind of awesome, you know, the fact that um, I was able to knock everything out. I mean, I still got laundry waiting for me back home. I don't know if you guys noticed the clouds and how cloudy it is, but I got to hurry up and get home before it rains. Not because I don't want to get wet. Again, that's what she said. But basically because um, I got to get my laundry off the dryer, you know, off the... What is it the clothing line or what have you so that it doesn't get wet again 
That's what she said. You know, this seems like it's gonna be a running theme. Maybe I should get uh, Michael Scott to help me out today. Wow, that is really hard. You really think you can go all day long? Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so. That's what she said. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is that usually a lot of people don't bite off more than what they can chew. Or if they do bite off more than what they can chew, it, they, it becomes so overwhelming that they, a lot of times they fail. And, um, you know, the reason is because, I mean, a lot of people are just afraid. A lot of people are just afraid of that failure. You know what I mean? That's a thing. You know what I mean? So a lot of people, they just nibble. You know, when, when, when they're confronted with life or they got to do things in life, you know, most people... You know, not only do they nibble, but they, you know, they just dip their toes in. And that's basically it. And, um, you know, I'm not a dipping the toes kind of guy. You know, I'm more of a, you know, get, uh, more of a cannonball kind of guy. You know, meaning that I don't, I don't dip my toes in, you know, slowly. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? No, 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 no. I look at it and um, the more scared I am, the, the harder I go in. You know, it's as simple as that. That's why I'm a cannonball kind of guy. You know what I mean? Just, you know, jump in that pool, make the biggest splash possible, and then, uh, you know, we'll figure it out as we go along. And uh, for the most part, it always, uh, it always works out. And even when I do fail, you know? Even when I do fail, it's never a real failure. It's like, um, let's say I wanted to do 10 things on my list today and I only got eight done. It's like, fuck, I got eight done. You know, what about you and your list? You know, you, how many things did you get done? One? Uh, you know, so, you know, it's things like that. So it's like, it's not really a total failure. You know, it's it's all like, again, relative how you look at these things and how you want to look at these things and, uh, and um, you know, how you want to approach life. You know, to me, it's like, I, you know, biting off more than I can chew is because, because if I nibble, I might not get another little nibble or a bite again. But every time, if every time I bite, I take the biggest bite I can humanly possibly take, well, you know, in case there's no more bites, I know that at least, you know, um, I'll have, I'll, I would have at least gotten as much as I could have when I had the chance. And then if I have another chance, I'll get more. And if not, it's all good. It's totally fine. You know, I'll have more time to dedicate to that, to, um, to masticate that, um, that huge bite that I took. And it's a simple, I mean, for reals, I mean, honestly, you know, right now, um, I feel so accomplished already the last couple days, you know, to, um, you know, today's day number two after me getting back from Cuba and, um, you know, not that I was overwhelmed with all the things that I had to do, but it's like I had a lot of things to do. And, and then once I got here, I was like, oh shit, there's even more that I have to do. There's even more. And, um, but what did I do? You know what I mean? I just fucking tightened my belt buckled down and got to work and bam here we are you know we're ahead of schedule so now i can focus on all the other things i gotta focus on so now i'll be able to get home put all this away get my clothes from you know um getting wet again and then i'll be able to relax for a minute and then uh i think i'm gonna be able to call one of my clients and see if i can set up a meeting today um and push that ahead so that i can just keep you know keep killing it you know again you know i could just easily put a make it and into my day today and put and leave all that for tomorrow and be like all right you did a lot but that's the thing you know when more time opens up that means you got to do even more you got to replace you know you gotta you gotta fill that time with other things that you need to do it just because you finish early that doesn't mean that it's over because again if you choose to live that way then you just you're not really doing anything you're doing the same thing it's all about um prioritizing it all it all has to do with um you know just literally getting your shit in order it's as simple as that and once you become organized that's when things really you know become easier because again even though i was looking at my huge list this morning well i had a list i, I got organized when i realized i had a million things to do in a million different places i was like okay let's plan this out let's figure it out let's uh where am i gonna go first second third um how are we gonna not, you know make sure we don't backtrack make sure that we maximize my you know the time as much as possible 
and uh, sure enough it always works out you know it's all it all it always takes you know a little extra planning but it's totally worth it because if you just spend a few extra minutes or whatever you know planning out and doing what you need to do um in, in order to get ready to do what you got you know in order to get ready for your day then all of a sudden everything is everything just becomes easier because you have a game plan you got a blueprint you you have uh, a better idea as to what you need to do and if you ever get stuck overwhelmed um whatever it is you can just always go back to the game plan you don't have to even think you can just go back look and just get back to work instead of um when you normally get overwhelmed with all the things that you got to do what tends to happen is that you know most people just start like you know well, blanking out and stuff hold on one second one second guys yeah sorry about that the local italian restaurant just uh, has some mariachi mariachi music playing so yeah anyways but uh like i was saying you know at the end of the day the whole biting off more than more biting off more than you can chew almost always works out in your benefit but that's the thing though i mean not everybody wants to do that and uh you know the benefits always outweigh the um, the negatives they just do because it's like um again guys like i was explaining no matter what you're oh you're just pushing ahead regardless you know no matter what there's not really failure per se it's just not really failure it's more like um you know you, you didn't like for example like again just like going back to the whole list thing if i get all 10 things done it's a success if i get eight things done it's considered a failure but it's not really considered a failure it's still considered a success because i was able to get those things done a lot of people what they end up doing unfortunately is that they don't even make a list they have 10 things to do and just because they're all disorganized they start getting uh overwhelmed uh and all these other things that that uh just start making things worse for you because you're not organized then all of a sudden you just do one thing and you're looking at or you're just thinking about all the other things that you got to do and before you know it you know you, you just throw up your you throw your hands up in the air and you don't do them or you just start doing them randomly and you start realizing you're wasting time you're you're getting flustered you're getting frustrated you're getting all, all of these freaking things and it's all basically because you didn't organize yourself and that's the thing you know the real secret the real secret to um to controlling that whole biting off more than you can chew aspect of things the real secret to that is basically organization and that's it you know what i mean if if you the more the more you bite off the more you got to get organized it's it's there yeah, you know what i mean like if you again you know this goes back to um you know my days as a chef you know we call this mise en place and what is mise you know your mise get your mise ready get your mise en place it's getting all your ducks in a row you know why is it that when you go to a restaurant you know everything is you know pretty much orderly done you know what i mean like no matter how complicated your dish or if, let's say you come with a party of 10 and um you know everybody orders something different you know why is it that everything you know comes out in orderly fashion everything comes out fine everything comes out great again you know most of the time not always but you know what i'm saying and it's because again the one of the major major things about you know being a chef or being in the military or being in anything like that is getting all your shit in order if you don't have your shit in order that's when uh that's when the kitchen goes down that's when uh all of a sudden you see plate you know dinner is taking three hours to come out that's when you're seeing you know disaster if all of a sudden you see like if you're in the army um if you don't got your shit and ducks in a row and once the end once the once the enemy's shooting at you and your gun isn't ready locked and loaded guess what by the time you get locked and loaded you're already shot you're dead you know so it's the same thing with life you know but if all of a sudden you're sitting in the foxhole and you're, you're literally looking up ahead from the foxhole all right let's say that you're sitting you know all of a sudden you're in the foxhole right guys yeah sorry a little bit of a traffic situation here hurry up guys sorry so let's just say that you're sitting in the foxhole right and you look over the top of the foxhole and you see a gazillion army men coming your way and it's just you and your buddies your platoon uh they have to take care of all this stuff you know what are you gonna do are you gonna go back into your foxhole and uh shit your pants and tremble with fear and go whatever no 
You're gonna go down into your foxhole. You're gonna reorganize yourself. You're gonna get ready. You're gonna get your fucking machine guns, you know, um, as, as locked and loaded as you can. You're gonna get all that stuff done. Come on, man. On you. You're gonna get all that shit done. Sorry about that. You know, that's the one thing that I miss. Uh, I did. I don't miss from Merida is you know how everything is so beyond crazy slow paced here. Sometimes you just want to fucking. Anyways, tell everybody to hurry the fuck up. Anyways, which I do. <laughs> but the point is, you know, the point is, is that like if you go back down into your foxhole and you're already mentally prepared because you've already bitten off more than you can chew more than once, and this ain't nothing new to you. And you, oh look, look, look at that. Uh oh, I cannot walk under that. That's like seventeen thousand years of bad luck, right? All right. So, um, it's just about organization. So, you know, you you know, once you see you know the whole herd of like a thousand army men coming your way, um, if you go down and you you get to the foxhole and you get yourself not only more mentally ready, but you get everything, all your tools ready, all your guns ready, all your whatever ready. Listen, guys, if you sit there and hold your position on, on defense. And you know what you're doing? You can bow, you can mow them all down. All right, you can succeed. You can win. You and your buddies can literally take on that army. It's it's been done before a gazillion times, and this ain't nothing new. But it, it all comes down to you know being mentally ready. But how can you be mentally ready to take those things on? Well, by you know by constantly biting off more than you can chew, by constantly um, you know pushing yourself, by constantly just do, putting yourself in positions. You know, so that, you know, by the time that a situation like that arises, it's going to be easy peasy in comparison to all the shit you did. You know, let me give you another example when it comes to like a fo football, American football uh, example. You know, when it comes to American football, for example, you know, I, I remember this and, uh, and not only do I remember this, but, you know, this is something that pretty much any NFL player, any NFL player will tell you is the fact that the hardest part is everything that they got to do during the week. All the practice, all the, you know what I mean? All, all that shit, you know what I mean? And the easy part, the easy part comes when it's game time, when it's time to play the game. Especially the harder they practice, the harder, the, the more difficult the practice, the more difficult the, the, the training, the more difficult all that is, then the easier the game becomes. And why is that? Well, because you literally spent all week going to the hell. Literally, getting ready, getting prepared, biting off more than you can chew, getting chewed out by your by your coach, um, you know, getting balls thrown at your head. You know, everything you could, anything that could possibly, you know, be the worst case scenario is always, for the most part, you know, thrown right at you. So by the time that game time comes, you know, that's why you don't, you notice, uh, you know, teams like the Patriots, they just go out there and they fucking kick ass and that's all they do. And it's because they're not worried, you know what I mean? They've already been, you know, through the worst of the worst. And so by the time game the game time comes, they're the worst. You know what I mean? You know, meaning that they're they're the, you know, they're the ones that you gotta worry about, not the other way around. And that's the thing, you know, the way I go through life, I don't worry about things per se, but things worry about me, if you follow what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> like, and that's the thing, and that's not only it's not it's it's that attitude comes from a lot of you know binding off more than you can chew and a lot of again you know um just hitting your head against the wall a lot of failure you know and a lot of um you know overcoming self-doubt overcoming a lot of adversity and uh the only way you can do that is 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 by 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 doing these things that i'm always telling you guys to do and um you know biting off more than you can chew is uh just another one it's just another one of these things so guys i really hope that today's episode uh was good for you guys. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. That's what she said. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry, looking at this freaking mess. Freaking new neighbor left. I don't want to get into that, but anyways. So, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, trust me. The more you bite, the more you bite off, the more you, you take on the more you're gonna feel accomplished and the better you're gonna feel about yourself and uh, and moving forward with everything else that has to go, that has to do with that. So again, guys, I encourage you guys to bite off more than you can chew, but to not just bite off more than you can chew, but to 
also do it the right way you know once you do do that you know also make sure to organize yourself and uh, make sure you knock it out correctly because otherwise it's gonna knock you out and um, either or you're gonna learn but don't forget you know that you can you can definitely take it on it's all about your mental state so and how you decide to you know um, go about these things all right and how you're gonna let them affect you or not affect you all right guys I'm here I'm home I can open the door and um i gotta end this episode so guys thank you so much for joining me today as always don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon don't forget to stay awesome thank you to all my patrons thank you to all my supporters thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody out there and uh that's it more importantly than anything else don't forget to stay awesome and i'll see you guys manana peace have an awesome rest of your monday and an awesome rest of your week peace out